welcome to the update. I'm Madeline Burke. Labor has been accused of turning middle Australia into the new working poor. The opposition argues the federal government's budget does very little to help many families. Peter Dutton says the government's plan to bring one and a half million migrants into the country will add even more stress on housing and infrastructure. There are a lot of Australians out there at the moment who as I say, a part of a working poor. They're turning up to work each day and they're getting less and less in their grocery basket or it's costing more and more to pay the insurance bill. And New South Wales police are investigating the death of a teenage girl after she became trapped under a light rail tram in Sydney's CBD. Light rail services between Central and Circular Quay were suspended while emergency crews worked to free the 16-year-old, who sadly died at the scene. Donald Trump has received a warm welcome from supporters in his first public appearance since losing a sexual assault court case in New York. The former US president taking questions from Republican supporters at a CNN town hall and has used the occasion to loudly protest his innocence. This is a fake story, made up story. In entertainment news, a Freaky Friday sequel is officially in the works. Almost 20 years after the first movie, Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis have confirmed they will return for Freaky Friday 2. In sport, Melbourne Storm are favourites to beat Brisbane when they host the Broncos tonight, kicking off round 11 of the NRL. The Storm have won 22 of their past 24 matches against the Broncos. In tennis, Australia's Tanasi Kokonakis and Alexi Poprin are through to the second round of the Rome Masters. And Tiger Woods has been ruled out of next week's PGA Championship after having ankle surgery. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. Oh, 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 oh,